Hey guys, welcome to Dream Day channel. Today, I just want to tell you that I passed my medical scientist laboratory certification exam. And I just want to share with you the overview. If you're planning to see the exam, what, how to prepare, what to expect. And I want to tell you, it's a very good experience for me. At the beginning, when I came, I came from Australia. I've been a practicing medical scientist in Australia. But to get into medical sciences in America, I need to pass the certification exam. I had a lot of interview and they said, ah, oh, they will give me 15 or 18 months to pass the exam. I don't want to get a job and be under attention that I have to pass. So I decided to take time and study for the exam. I can say I started studying for about a um, couple of months. And um, the first thing I realized is that I didn't have motivation. So I got some study bodies and then with all my resources and it has paid, it has really paid me very well. So. Today, I'm just going to take you through the process. The first thing I did is to contact the American Medical Laboratory Technologies Organization and ask them, what do I need? What is the requirement for me? And as a practicing medical scientist, what they requested is for me to have experience in hematology, microbiology, chemistry, and blood banking. Those ones are basic, non-negotiable with the transcripts of my uni. So I send them the transcript of my first degree, microbiology, and my master's in laboratory medicine. And after the degree, they said they need the experience. So I was given a form which I filled and um, attached the organization that I've worked and all the subjects that I've done. Like I did hematology, microbiology, blood banking, and chemistry. So with that, I was approved to be a member, but they told me I'm not yet a member. I'm just a member, a, a person preparing to be a certified member. So with that, what I just needed to do is to look at the resources. I look at the resources and they said I can schedule my exam. So I schedule my exam far off and I got the materials. From my experience, I will share with you the materials that I use. I first got uh, the Momentrix preparation. This Momentrix preparation covers all the subjects that will be done in the certification. So I got part one and two. And when I got the part one and two, I realized that they are well detailed. And then I read on the internet and some people talk about the bottom line approach. It's a clinical laboratory uh, review uh, book. And I heard so much about the book, I was forced to buy it. And when I bought it, I realized why people were talking about it. This book is not just comprehensive detail, but it has how to remember things, how to not to forget, different mnemonics. It has a lot of mnemonics that you can use to remember some of the things that ordinarily are difficult. And that's what makes this textbook very unique. But I want to tell you that if you have not had a detailed experience of some of um, the courses, if you just take this one, it might be too shallow for you because it's a summary, but it's very, very helpful. And um, when I had my resources, I decided, okay, I wrote on AMT that I need study bodies. And so many people were willing, like, I too need study bodies. So I got three people that are very serious. One of us dropped off before because he got an offer that he couldn't re refuse. So we are left with three serious and we studied together. One of them suggested we got, I get flashcards. So I get the moment tricks flashcards. But when I got the, the flashcard, I realized that the flashcard is exactly the same thing that I have in this. So the only difference is that this is with a question and this is theory. And truly, I find the question easier to you know go along with. But I, if I have known that they are the same thing, there's no point buying the two. So I would rather stick with the clinical laboratory review. Is it that I would suggest to you is that you buy more metrics and this use it to prepare. Or oh, if you feel you prefer the flashcard, the flashcard is very good. They ask you questions and then put the answer there. So the flashcards comes like this and it covers all the subjects. So by the time I study that, study with the study group, we usually ask ourselves questions, answer, we present depending on your strong points. Then when it was about two weeks to my examination, I decided to buy the practice exam question. And when I bought the practice exam question, it was very, very helpful in the sense that the way the question were asked was the same with the exam. So I got used to how the question had been asked. 
uh, with a practice question from AMT, it's $40 and it will give you two chances. And I want to tell you that. The second one that I did was the exact um, mic that I score. It's not that the question are the same, the question are not the same. But because I've been used to the way they, they frame their question, it was very easy for me. I want to advise you that if you think you are ready, you go for it. Because there's this imposter syndrome that will make you to be feeling, ah, I'm not yet ready. I don't think I can cope. And that's, I was having that same feeling. And the first time I shared my exam, I canceled it and I'm like, ah, I don't think I'm ready. So after reading for some time and practicing the question, 70 is a plus mark. And when I do the practice question, I get over 70. So I said, okay, I think I'm ready. And I went and I nailed it. And I said, I want to encourage you that if I can do it, you can do it. Summon up courage, go out there, get your materials and make sure you're okay. Another thing that I can say that helps me is that after reading, I make sure that I sleep well. I exercise very well. I put myself in a state that mentally, physically, uh, health-wise, everything is balanced and his, everything is history now. So we have to keep on shattering the glasses until we get to where we need to get to. Thank you for listening. Watch out for my next video. Bye for now.